Dear Leon, I have a very strong distaste for raisins, craisins, blazins, plazins, cherasins, banasians, plantations, and other such humiliated fruits as they're called here in Canada. Is it possible that I choked to death on a piece of fruitcake in a former life? Sincerely, Stay Juicy in St. John. Dear Stay Juicy, let's go with yes. You did, in fact, choke to death on a piece of fruitcake in your past life. I don't know how this information will benefit you in this life, but there you go. Dear Leon, my husband and I have been married for 20 years, and in that time have dedicated much of our time together to finding and documenting proof of the North American Sasquatch. This has been the driving goal of our lives and the unifying mission of our marriage. However, my my husband has recently confessed to me that he no longer believes the Sasquatch is truly out there, and hasn't for some years. I am heartbroken by his loss of faith. I don't want to lose him. But can our marriage survive such a fundamental fracture? Sincerely, Squatch for Life in Portland. Dear Squatch, while it is true that marriages between people of differing belief systems often face particular challenges, in our modern times, interfaith marriages are common and can be as harmonious and loving as any other marriage. It is less important that he believes what you believe than that he simply believes in you. So long as he continues to support you in your quest, there is no reason why your marriage can't remain as rewarding as it has ever been. Dear Leon, how do you convince someone to confess a secret? I've got this loved one who is keeping a whopper. Actually, no, it's not that big of a deal. I mean, if people knew about it, they'd be like, okay, cool. And that would be that. But by keeping it a secret, it kind of turns it into a big deal. Like this person's got something to hide, you know what I mean? How do I get them to see that it isn't a big deal and that it would be better for them to just let people know before they find out? Sincerely, Doubting in Dorchester. Dear Doubting, secrets exist because people don't want anyone to know. Perhaps the question you need to ask is not how to get this person to confess this harmless little secret. Instead, ask yourself why they don't see it as harmless in the first place. Dear Leon, I need your advice. Lately, I've found myself dealing with really weird feelings. It's almost as if I'm standing outside myself watching my body do very unusual, strange things. It's not like I'm sleepwalking, and I, I wouldn't call it an out-of-body experience, really. It's more like this movie I saw once where Ben Affleck was engaging in all these criminal activities, like being a super cyber hacker or dog napping, and Matt Damon would follow him around and just watch him do it. But Matt Damon and Ben Affleck were actually the same guy. Matt Damon just invented Ben Affleck so he could create a little bit of distance, so he wouldn't feel so bad about doing those things himself. I'm grossed out by the types of things I'm seeing myself do, but there is this huge part of me that feels like I need them that depends on them to kind of feel a little more okay. I've had a tough time lately, and these things I see myself doing, they give me a sense of peace, a sense of calm, even though there's another part of me that acknowledges I shouldn't be behaving like another person entirely. I mean, what kind of person does that? What kind of person pretends to be Matt Damon just so they don't have to deal with the fact that they're being a really big Ben Affleck. Sincerely, Olive and Gardner. Greater Boston is written and produced by Alexander Danner and Jeff Van Driesen, with recording and technical assistance from Mark Harmon. Enjoying the show? You can let us know by tweeting us at InGreaterBoston. In order of appearance, this mini-episode featured Ryan Estrada as Stay Juicy in St. John, Blair Dawson as Squatch for Life, Mario DeRosa Jr. as Isaiah Powell, and Kelly McCabe as Nika Stamatis. 
The Tosa Waltz is performed by Emily Peterson and Dirk Tiedi. Drive the Cold Away by Adrienne Howard, Emily Peterson, and Dirk Tiedi. Some sound effects and music used from public domain and Creative Commons sources. Special thanks to James Oliva for recording assistance on this episode. Episode transcripts will be posted online at greaterbostonshow.com. And be sure to check out Ryan's wild internet heist show, Big Data, where you'll find guest appearances by several familiar Greater Boston characters. I don't believe in Phyllis Navidad. I don't believe in Phyllis Navidad. I don't believe in Phyllis Navidad. You want to come over here and yell some with me? No. No? no I don't believe in Phyllis Navidad. I don't even know who that is. I don't have the context for this. But I don't believe in it. It's a bunch of hogwash is what it is. It's all lies. Garbage. This Phyllis Navidad bull crap. I don't know who she is, but I don't believe in her. Because I'm not even going to read anything about her because I don't read in things that I don't believe in because I am in an echo chamber on Facebook and I just listen to things that I already believe. And I don't believe in Phyllis Navidad.